The European Commission have uh, advocated the use of antigen testing. The Irish government said no, uh, it wasn't good enough uh, to take up the 20 million antigen tests offered by the European Commission, wasn't good enough to facilitate visits to nursing homes, wasn't good enough to facilitate the return to school and make schools safer. But lo and behold, we woke up on Monday morning and we find out that the Department of Agriculture are facilitating the antigen testing of workers in meat plants. Uh, workers who are operate under bonded labour effectively because the department, your department, won't change the work permit system. If it's good enough in this sector, why is it not good, in others, good enough for others? My question is not about the decision. I don't disagree with the decision. But how are decisions made by your government? Because it seems strange that it wasn't couldn't be even looked at for every other sector. But when Larry and the lads rock up, it's yes sir, no sir, three bags full sir. So if every other country in the EU thinks that it's safe to use antigen testing, not as an alternative to PCR testing, not as a clinical diagnosis, but to get society back functioning again, what is the obstacle in Ireland? I, I, I support the greater use of antigen testing in Ireland and uh, I'm on the record as having said that on a number of occasions but that does have to be subject to um, public health advice uh, and the approval of NEFID and, and HICWA as well, which advises on this too. Um, it is now being used in outbreaks uh, and it has been tested in some clinical scenarios such as outbreaks in hospitals. Um, so it has been used in recent weeks under the direction of, of NEFID and the HSC. Uh, the problem with it is it misses a large number of positive cases, particularly as asymptomatic cases. So whereas uh, a PCR test might miss 15-20% of positives, an antigen test will miss many more positives, uh, particularly asymptomatic cases, and that could give a false reassurance. Tisha, this false positive and reassurance is a bit like the argument against giving out condoms during the HIV pandemic, that, that people would feel reassured and behave on that basis. Frankly, I don't buy it because every single person who's detected is somebody who wouldn't otherwise be detected. It's not that we're taking people away from PCR testing to antigen testing. It's in addition to its screening. So I simply don't accept that argument.